recognized symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. Got Mark 76 this week, 1990. Question why didn't Ric Flair save Sting? The Great Muda came back from Japan, made a save of Sting. Where was Flair? And welcome to World Championship Wrestling. Got Mark 76 this week, 1990. We are starting things off as an agitated Ric Flair making his way to the ring. And he has some words for all of us here in World Championship Wrestling. And how about those words from the total package Lex Luger as Doom in the ring, Butch Reed takes down Lee Scott. Lex Luger, a former member of the Four Horsemen from a few years ago, knows Ric Flair very well and says that he thinks Ric Flair is the fourth member of the original Horsemen that Tully Blanchard is a part of. Of course, Sting and Ric Flair are two members of the current version of the Four Horsemen. There's only two members right now. And they will be in action tonight in our main event, teaming against the Samoan SWAT team. And one has to wonder how the teamwork of those two will be. Uh, you have to imagine Sting hears these comments, these interviews. He's, he's in the arena. He has to have heard what Luger said. And if there was no seeds of doubt previously to today, then Lex Luger definitely stirring the pot and has to be planting seeds in Sting's head. As Butch Reed makes the tag, and here comes Ron Simmons, Lee Scott makes a tag, and Gary Royal set up and over the top rope. Fans also on today's show, Bam Bam Bigelow will be in action. He, of course, is a member of Sullivan's Slaughterhouse. We mentioned our main event, and of course, we have a big six-man tag match as the original horseman of Ole and Arn Anderson team with Tully Blanchard and they take on the Road Warriors and Precious Paul Ellering. So a huge show lined up for you here today is Ron Simmons with a neck breaker on Gary Roll on the floor. And the World Tag Team Champions coming to a town near you to defend the NWA World Tag Team Championship. They have been defending in recent weeks against former champions Rick and Scott Steiner. Also against Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Tommy Rich. And a big clothesline by Simmons takes down Lee Scott. And an elbow drop in the center of the ring. Ron Simmons, I think, is toying with Lee Scott. He could have put him away. And Owen going for a kick, but Lee Scott blocks it. And that has only angered Ron Simmons, who takes down Lee Scott with a clothesline. And a reversal, Lee Scott throws. Oh, and Butch Reed made the tag, and I think Reed has seen enough of this. And a big axe handle takes down Lee Scott. Ron Simmons was in the corner, Butch Reed tagged him in, the referee allowed the tag. And Butch Reed came in like a ball of fire, belly to belly suplex overhead. And Lee Scott's in trouble as Butch Reed climbs that second turnbuckle, lining him up for a fist and nails it. And Lee Scott in a world of trouble. 
And Reed climbing that second turnbuckle again, flexing to the fans here at center stage. And setting up Lee Scott, who gets back to his feet. And the shoulder block from the second turnbuckle takes Lee Scott down and maybe out. There's a replay, and look at this, collision. Reed goes for the cover, and that's it. Lee Scott unable to kick out your winners, the World Tag Team Champions Doom. Here are some highlights from earlier in the contest, but more or less a preliminary match. Warming up Doom, who of course will be in action tonight and all over the country, defending those World Tag Team Championship fans. Our following contest will be a six-man tag team match as Ole and Arn Anderson team up with Tully Blanchard, the original Four Horsemen, take on the Road Warriors and Precious Paul. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. And welcome back to World Championship Wrestling. The Road Warriors are down a man. Precious Paul Ellering attacked in the dressing room by Tony Blanchard and Ole Anderson. And they find themselves in a three on two handicap match against the original Horsemen. As Animal in the ring with Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson in trouble against the ropes and Animal firing away with a series of right hands. Throws Arn into the ropes. And a big shoulder block takes Arn Anderson down. Arn Anderson, the world television champion. In the ring there, and Ole, oh, going to work on Animal, Ole now. Working the leg of Road Warrior Animal. At the top of the program, we saw the total package, Lex Luger claiming that Ric Flair was indeed the fourth member of the original Horseman. And I am sure that that is putting seeds in the head of the Stinger. And Ron Anderson with a series of right hands takes down Road Warrior Animal. And high knee lift takes Animal down again. going to work on the leg of Road Warrior Animal and the knee to the side of the head. And Arn Anderson in control has Animal throws him hard into the turnbuckle and down goes Animal. And Arn makes a tag. Here comes Ole. Ole in the ring. And he's staying on work on Road Warrior Animal. A series of left hands and ramming Animal's head to the mat. Ole Anderson, The Rock, takes down Hawk, and now, conceivably, it could be a three-on-one attack as it's three members of the Horsemen against Animal. Ole goes for the cover, referee counts one, two, and a kick out of two by Animal. Hawk now on the apron, trying to encourage his partner to make a tag, and Animal desperately needs to make a tag. We have seen Ole and Arn Anderson in the ring, but Animal has been in the ring since the very beginning. Now Ole makes a tag for Tully, and now all three members of the original Horsemen have been in this match, and Animal has yet to make a tag to Road Warrior Hawk. And an elbow drop by Tully Blanchard, and Animal is in trouble. And here comes Hawk. Hawk now going to work on Tully. But Tully catches Hawk with a big kick. And a big right hand stuns Hawk. But Hawk nails Tully with a drop kick. An elbow to the top of Tully's head. And a shoulder block takes Blanchard down. Hawk now going to work on Tully Blanchard. And a big chop takes Tully down. 
Now Hulk setting up Tully. What's he have in mind here? A pile driver and spikes him down to the mat. And Oli is seated up. Oli's in the ring. And knees Hulk to the head and takes down the referee. And Hulk knocks Oli off the top apron. Pandemonium breaking loose as Arn Anderson has a steel chair. This is not a no disqualification match. And Hulk gets the chair out of Arn Anderson's hands. And an elbow to Tully Blanchard. The referee losing control of this contest. And Tully Blanchard with a high knee lift on Hulk. And this match has been all horsemen thus far. As Blanchard only gets a one count on Road Warrior Hawk. And now Blanchard with a series of chops takes down Hawk. The four horsemen have been dominating the Road Warriors thus far in this contest. And a reversal by Hawk. Can the Road Warriors get momentum? Hawk in the corner. Throws Tully across the ring. Makes a tag and here comes Animal for some double team. A drop to hold by Hawk and an elbow drop to the back by Animal. And Tully makes the tag and here comes Arn. And Arn nails Animal with a drop kick. Beautifully done. And Anderson nailing Animal with a big right hand. Going for a kick block by Animal. Elbow to the thigh. The referee looking to get rid of that chair but has to keep an eye on the double team between Ole and Arn Anderson taking on Animal. Now Ole going after Hawk, misses with a big red hand, and Animal in trouble, walks into a spine buster. Arn dragging Animal to the center of the ring. Hawk has Ole, and a neck breaker down goes Ole. Arn goes for the cover. The referee counts one, two, pay attention to Tully, and no. Animal kicks out. Tully was on the top rope, was gonna leap down. And this match has been all four horsemen. Arn goes for the cover again, one. Anderson going to work on Animal again. Only has Hawk is going to suplex him into the ring. And all four men with four of the five men in the ring. And Arn Anderson picking up Animal. Charges clothesline. Takes down Animal. Hawk going after Oli again. Hip toss into the ring. And now Blanchard in the ring. All five men in the ring. Blanchard has the chair. Nails Animal with the referee. He's going to call for the bell. A disqualification with Blanchard going to work on Animal. All oh, the horsemen will lose this match, but Blanchard takes out everybody. Don't go away. Bam Bam Bigelow in action next. And welcome back to World Championship Wrestling as Bam Bam Bigelow takes on George South. And of course, Bam Bam Bigelow oh, with a big clothesline that George South has. Sullivan Slaughterhouse at ringside. Kevin Sullivan and Cactus Jack Manson. And Sullivan Slaughterhouse is on a path of destruction. They are taking on and hurting many wrestlers that they cross paths with. And find themselves in a deep seat of feud against Captain Mike Rotunda, Norman the Lunatic, and of all people, Abdullah the Butcher. And that seems to be coming to a head in a town near you as Bam Bam picks up George South. And a power slam down. 360 pounds never looks so agile as Bam Bam Bigelow has the moveset of somebody much lighter and much faster. George South now with some offense. Did not last long as Bam Bam throws him over the top rope and knocks him down to the floor. And Bam Bam following George South out. Of course our big main event tonight. We'll see Sting and Nature Boy Ric Flair team up against the Samoan SWAT team. And we heard from Ric Flair at the top of the program who's being accused of being the fourth member of the Horsemen. How will that play out? As Bam Bam Bigelow in control of this contest. George South may be counted out. The referees counts up to eight. And Bam Bam, I think he's just toying with South at this time, picks up South and drapes him across the top rope with a hot shot. 
now Bam Bam climbing the top rope. Leaps and drops the knee across the chest, pin the man. But no, Bam Bam wants to inflict more punishment. Has South up and the Gorilla Press slams down to the mat. And Bam Bam just toying with George South now. This match could have been over minutes ago. Throws South hard and cross the turnbuckle. This is what Sullivan Slaughterhouse does. They want to hurt people, and they don't necessarily care about winning as long as they hurt you. And Bam Bam now climbing the top rope again. What, what else does he have in mind here? Turns around, and there's a moonsault off the top rope. Wow, what a maneuver by that 360 pounder. Again, flying through the air like somebody half his size. Hooks the leg, like, like he needs to hook the leg. And your winner, Bam Bam Bigelow, and quite the display of power on the part of Bam Bam Bigelow. Here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. Again, this match could have been over several minutes ago, but Bam Bam was toying with his opponent, George South. And again, he hooks the, like he needed to hook the leg for the pinfall after dominating this match. Fans, our main event is next. The Horsemen take on the Samoans. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this quick timeout. And welcome back to World Championship Wrestling. It is time for our main event. And spot two in the Samoan Savage, the Samoans make their way to the ring. They're being led to the ring by the big kahuna. And they are taking on the horsemen of Nature Boy Ric Flair and World Heavyweight Champion Sting. Fans, at the top of the program, there was a face-to-face -face between Lex Luger and Ric Flair where Lex Luger called out Ric Flair saying that Ric Flair was indeed the fourth member of the original horsemen. Now history says that that is true. Ric Flair was a member of the original Horseman. But going back the last several weeks, Tully Blanchard and Woman have been trying to lure Ric Flair away from Sting and rejoin Tully Blanchard, Arn, and Ole Anderson to reform the original Horseman. And Ric Flair has been saying up and down the highway that his loyalties lie with Sting As Sting had Flair's back when Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard were not competing here in the NWA. But just seeing the entrances, the two separate entrances of the Horsemen, and if you're Sting, we haven't heard from Sting too much in all this. He has been focusing on defending the World Heavyweight title. But if you're Sting, there has to be at least a planted seed of doubt in your mind about trusting Ric Flair. As the bell rings and Sting starts out against Fatu. So I am interested to see where this is going to go. As I'm assuming at some point we're going to get Ric Flair in the ring with Tully Blanchard. And they're going to need to settle this out in the ring. As Flair throws Fatu into the ropes. And a big clothesline takes Fatu down. The world champion pumping his chest to the fans here at center stage. As Ric Flair cheers on a big chop by Sting. An elbow by Sting. Throws Fatu into the turnbuckle. Hard and an elbow. Another elbow by Sting in the corner. Sting. Going to work on Fatu, makes the tag, and here comes a double team. Sting throws Flair into the ropes and a big clothesline by Flair. And so far, the horsemen working together as a unit as Flair stopping the way of Fatu, stopping Fatu from making the tag. And thus far, the four horsemen working as a cohesive unit. And Flair takes down the Samoan Savage. Flair now in control. Drops an elbow across the chest of Fatu. Now Flair climbing that second turnbuckle, leaps and drops an elbow at the second turnbuckle. Does not go for the cover. Flair picks up Fatu, now working the leg of Fatu. 
Could he be setting them up for that figure four? And Fatu makes a tag, and here comes the Samoan Savage, who has an advantage against Flair, but Flair with a big chop takes down the Samoan Savage. And Flair kicking dirt, and that may have just woken up the Savage. Big close block. Takes down Flair into the floor. And Flair disrespecting the Samoan Savage has woken him up. And now the Samoan Savage in control, working the arm of Ric Flair. Goes for the cover. Two and three, now a kick out by Flair. Oh man, the Samoan Savage almost with the upset of the year on Nature Boy Ric Flair. With the Savage staying on top, working the neck of the Nature Boy. And now a leg DDT and Ric Flair is in trouble. Sting trying to encourage the Nature Boy, offering a hand for a tag. Flair trying to fight back. But the Samoan Savage throws Flair into his turnbuckle. Charges, but misses. Flair moves out of the way. Flair makes the tag, and here comes Sting. Sting charges and takes down the Savage. Going to work on the Samoan Savage. Picks him a girl and press slam. Oh, but reversal by the Savage, and a DDT spikes Sting. Sting almost showing great strength by press slamming the Samoan Savage. But the Savage got out of it, but now Sting back in control, takes out Fatu. Sting picks up the Savage. Into the corner goes the Samoan Savage. Charges. Owen was going for the serious splash, but caught and reversed by the Samoan Savage. Now throws Sting into the turnbuckle. He charges, moves out of the way. Sting, elbow to the side of the head, another elbow. Socks, a third against the ropes. Sting throws the Savage up in the air and flat down on his chest. Sting and Flair in control. Sting. Wait, I think the big kahuna threw in a chair of the ring. Wait, Flair was trying to grab the leg of the Samoan, and I think he interfered with Sting, but Sting's still in control, so no harm, no foul. Sting, house to the fans. Has a Samoan Savage, picks him up. Into the turnbuckle goes the Savage, Sting lining him up. Charges and nails a clothesline. I think he was a little hesitant to try that uh, Stinger splash because the Samoan Savage blocked it last time. Owen, speaking of Owen, Samoan Savage catches a charging Sting and drapes him across the top rope. Now working the arm of Sting is the Samoan Savage. Picks up Sting. A front face lock into a DDT! And down goes the Stinger, he's in trouble. And the Samoan Savage setting up Sting. Here comes Flair distracting the referee. The Samoan Savage going for a slam as Sting gets out of it. But the Savage throws Flair into the triple goal again, misses a charging Samoan Savage. Sting rolls up from behind, has a pinned one, two, and a break up by Fatu. Now all four men in the ring. Oh, but Flair and Sting collide. And that is given the Samoan Savage the advantage. Sting and Flair collided accidentally. I believe Flair climbing the second turnbuckle is knocked down. And Flair rolling out, but Flair inadvertently, I believe, hits Sting. But Sting back up. Oh, going to work and Savage comes back. And a big forearm takes Sting down. Will we see the four horsemen be able to come back here? And the Samoan Savage knocks Sting down to the mat. Flair is rolled on the outside. He climbed that second turnbuckle and was knocked off. And I think Flair's injured. Flair holding his leg on the outside is the big kahuna trying to throw Sting back into the ring. This could be a big win for the Samoans. And Sting, caught by the Savage, thrown into the turnbuckle. Flair's nowhere in sight. Charges again a third time. The Samoan Savage misses and Sting. Drops down the Savage, has him in the Scorpion Deathlock. Can the Samoan Savage make it to the ropes? He cannot, he taps out, and Sting has won the match for his team here on World Championship Wrestling. There was some miscommunication between Sting and Flair during this contest. But Sting able to overcome it and put away the Samoan Savage with the Scorpion Deathlock. 
And here are some highlights from earlier in the contest. We are being told that Ric Flair wants the microphone. Ric Flair wants to have words for Sting. But there are your winners, the Four Horsemen fans. We thank you for tuning in to Got Mark 76 this week. We will see you next week, but Ric Flair has some words for Sting. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.